So how did you know Tupac and Shug was in the black BMW? He was hanging out the window. Tupac? Yeah. What was he doing? He had half his body out the window. Yeah. And police are once again looking into the murder of rapper Tupac Shakur. The cold case from 1996 was recently reopened. Well, we're also getting more details on the Tupac Shakur murder investigation. ABC News is learning more about the target of this week's police search and what they took from his home. As the days lead up to Keith D's upcoming court appearance, a big moment in the ongoing Tupac murder mystery unfolds. The tension around Shah Diddy Combs, a respected figure, grows. Recent revelations shed light on the rap mogul's involvement. Tupac's brother, Moprim Shakur, discussed Diddy's connection to the case, questioning its truth, and we'll explore that soon. Stay with us until the end for the complete picture. The setting sun marks a crucial time in this unfolding story. We'll delve deeper into the details, unraveling the layers of mystery surrounding Tupac's tragic end and the potential role of influential figures like Diddy. Interestingly, many people began to think that Diddy might have been involved in Tupac's shooting after Biggie Small's mother reopened the case of her son's murder in 2006. She believed the police had hidden the truth about Biggie's death, and she sued the LAPD for around $500 million. LAPD detective Greg Kading, who took on the reopened case in 2006, discovered more information than expected. According to Kading, there was a connection between the deaths of the notorious B.I.G. and Tupac. While investigating Biggie's death, Kading found additional details that linked both cases. This revelation added fuel to the conspiracy theories surrounding Diddy's possible involvement in Tupac's shooting. Some of the old clues, we saw this very well-established um, association between the Southside Crips and uh, Bad Boy Records. For a long time, people believed that Diddy arranged for someone to harm Tupac one night. This idea became popular, especially after the well-known dispute between Diddy and Biggie in the world of rap. Detective Greg Kading looked into this and thought that Sean Puff Daddy Combs paid $1 million to have both Tupac Shakur and Shug Knight harmed. We, we wanted a million. Yeah. Um, you said you walked downstairs. Did he say, come meet me downstairs? Yeah, he did. Come on downstairs and talk to you. Oh. He tells you, seriously, man, I need to get rid of these guys. I mean, he's looking at you in the eyes and yeah. he's like scared. Yeah. So in your opinion, the specific reason he asked you to come downstairs and talk to him was about that thing, not about liquor or anything, yeah. it was about that. Well, okay. Yeah. You tell him we'll do it for a million, and he's like, okay, I'll do it for a million. Yeah. He agrees, shake yeah. on it or something yeah. like that. Harding, who is making these claims, says that the music businessman got a person named Dwayne Keith Davis connected with a group called the Crips to do the harm. This is because Davis had strong ties with gangs in Los Angeles. Orlando Baby Lane Anderson, a member of the Crips gang, is accused of being involved in Tupac's murder, as per Kading. He suggests that the original plan was for Keith D to carry out the hit, but last-minute changes occurred when they mistakenly parked on the wrong side of Tupac's car. Consequently, Keith's nephew took over, carrying out the hit that resulted in Tupac's death and Suge Knight's injury. Notably, Baby Lane and Tupac had a physical altercation in a Las Vegas casino shortly before the shooting. Adding weight to this theory is Keith D's statement during interrogation, affirming that the motive behind Tupac's shooting was a $1 million check. It'd be a million dollars that Zip was supposed to bring back, but he ended up keeping the money and buying a nightclub with it. You guys never got any money. No. This aligns with the belief that the hit was orchestrated for financial gain. Many hip-hop and Tupac fans are upset about how Keith D managed to escape the consequences for so long. They're frustrated that nobody has discussed Diddy's alleged involvement in Tupac's tragic end that night in Las Vegas. 50 Cent, who had been warning about Diddy, feels vindicated, but few paid attentions, thinking he was just hating. Diddy seems to have powerful connections, shielding him from scrutiny. Even if he faces arrest, many believe he can navigate the legal system successfully. However, there's a growing sentiment that influential figures want to distance themselves from Diddy, considering him a liability. 
the calls for him to leave the scene are getting louder. People are questioning how someone with such alleged connections can escape accountability, and the concern about Diddy's role in Tupac's demise continues to stir controversy within the hip-hop community. If you're wondering about 50 Cent's role in all of this, well, he's been the only famous person talking about Diddy in this situation for years. And there's a good reason for that. 50 Cent has been making jokes and comments about Puffy for a while now. Just yesterday, he posted something new. He wrote, Thug Life Jada in New York, looking for Puffy LOL. You think you're going to get away with this? Now let's see if Will Smith gives 50 the Chris Rock treatment and slaps him. I highly doubt it. Damn. So Pat got lined up by brother love LOL. Time to lawyer up. Might get sticky. A tweet caused a big stir online and got more than 15 million views. There was also a time when Eminem talked about Puff and the alleged hit on Tupac in his diss track Kill Shot against MGK. In the song Eminem raps, the day you put out a hit is the day Diddy admits he put the hit out that got Pat killed. It's the day you put out a hit, the day Diddy admits that he put the hit out that got Pac killed. Eh? It's not just chance that Diddy is connected to Tupac's case, but over time, the truth tends to come out. So, it might not be a surprise if Puffy ends up involved in the case, revealing what really happened with Tupac's shooting. WAC 100, a well-known figure in hip-hop, also mentioned that Diddy seems scared after Keith D's recent arrest. All these events are making waves in the hip-hop world, and it'll be interesting to see how things unfold in the coming days, shining a light on the truth behind Tupac's tragic incident. In this interesting situation, there are many interviews on various channels like Vlad TV and The Art of Dialogue, where Keith D talks a lot about what happened that night in Las Vegas. He even mentions that when they began shooting at Tupac, he was quickly trying to get into the back seat. It's kind of crazy because he goes into a lot of detail about the events, and you can find these interviews on different shows where he explains everything that went down in Vegas that night, from start to finish. It's mind-boggling that it took more than 20 years to confirm a suspect in the Tupac shooting, especially considering that a person openly admitted their involvement in interviews over the past five years and even published a detailed book about the incident in 2019. Before delving further into the video, there's a looming question about the Keith D case. Will he reveal any information about Diddy's alleged involvement? And will we witness his presence in court? Share your thoughts in the comments section below. Recently, Tupac's brother, Mo Preme Shakur, stepped forward to discuss Diddy and his supposed role in the Tupac shooting. Mo has a feeling that something isn't right in the Tupac case. He mentioned that with time, the truth about this sad situation will come out. That's it for today's video. Don't forget to subscribe for more celebrity updates and click the notification bell to stay in the loop with our future uploads. Until next time, take care and see you in the next video.